Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this virtual DJ tip video, I'm diving into this weird little player that's hidden away in the info tab, the preview player. Is there a feature in virtual DJ where you know exactly what it does, but you don't really understand why anyone would use it? Or maybe someone has shown you a feature that you don't typically use yet, after seeing them use it, you thought, hey, that's pretty cool, and wound up using it yourself. Well, the preview player is one of those features that I find indispensable, and I use it regularly. Let's first locate where the preview player is. I'll go to my browser in Virtual DJ, click on a random song, then open the info tab. Now, of course, within the info tab, we can see some specific information. We can uh, rate our tracks, we can color them. And then I even can click on this dot and then toggle on and off the fields that I wanna show in the info tab. Now this is all cool, but what I'm focusing on today is this rather nondescript player at the top. Now if you're not seeing it, all you need to do is click on the dot and then show pre-listing control. Just click on show pre-listing control. To activate the preview player, click on this play button and it'll start playback of the highlighted song. And all of this is happening without loading songs into a deck. The songs are all playing within the info tab and the preview player. There are a couple of different options on playback. The one that I'm currently using will start playback of the next song from the current position of the playhead. But I can select stop on change and that will stop the song from playing when I select a new song. And of course I need to hit play again to resume playback and it'll start playing back the song from the beginning. Let me show you how that works. The option that I use most frequently is start from 50%. And this does exactly as it says, it begins the playback of the track from the halfway point. So when you select a new track, it just starts playing it from that halfway point. Let me show you a quick demo of that. Now this might not seem like a big deal, but when I want to listen to a snippet of several songs, this works like a charm. This is much easier than having to load a deck with a song and then listen to it that way. With the preview player engaged, all I have to do is highlight a song and it immediately starts playing through the headphone channel. This is in the same manner as when I'm queuing up a track. Now, again, you might be asking, why would anyone need to do this? And the thing is, this is an effective way to quickly listen through a bunch of tracks that are in a folder, in the side list, or maybe even in the Automix tab. Everyone's gonna have their own individual reasons to use this, but here's how it helps me. Some of the most important folders in my database are these promo-only folders that I create each year. These folders contain the top hits and what I'd call you know, the songs that are getting the most radio airplay for that particular year. These are the songs that are gonna be must-plays at weddings and events, during peak dance hours, or they might just be good songs to play during a cocktail hour, or just to have as background music. I populate these folders in a number of ways. But one of them is just by routinely listening to the tracks in my promo only mainstream radio releases. It would take hours to spend the time to click on each song, put them in the deck and listen to them. This is where the preview player can be really effective because I can scan through a large number of songs in seconds. And sometimes just hearing a portion of a song is all I need to realize, oh, I know that one. I didn't realize that was the title. So anyway, I'll hear it. And then it goes into what I'll call my popular music folder. But I'm not actually dragging the song into a folder. This is actually done through a filter. And what I've done is create a filter folder that contains every single promo only mainstream radio track for the year. I routinely go through this to tag songs that belong in the popular music folder. When I hear a song that I wanna make sure is in that folder, I give it a rating of five stars. And by giving it five stars, it'll then match the criteria for the filter folder and it'll automatically show up in that popular music folder. Now, because of copyright reasons, I can't actually do this with my actual promo only folder, but like I was showing you earlier, we can just click on a song, hit play, and then just start clicking through the other songs. And in that example, I was able to listen to a short snippet of about what, six songs in just a matter of seconds. And that's how I use the preview player. 
It's a little feature, but you can see how it paves the way to help me be more productive and organized. And that's why I find it to be an absolutely great feature to use. I'd love to hear what you use the preview player for, or maybe you've learned something new today and you're gonna start using it. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video or found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more virtual DJ tips just like this. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.